Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and this is the first time I am creating a requirement video. One of my students had asked me a topic on TCP meltdown and because of this reason uh, I had created a video on this. Uh, I hope you will like it and uh, if you will like this video then please uh, share this video. Right? So the topic is TCP meltdown. You understand that TCP is a transmission control protocol and it is connection oriented protocol. By means of connection orient orientation, it gives you an uh, you know guarantee that the session between sender and receiver is going to be reliable session. And why I can guarantee on it? Because of the four factors. I have sequence number, acknowledgement, checksum, and retransmission. Because of this nature of uh, you know this four factors, I have a reliable session. I can trust on the session. I can trust on this connection. Now, what is the problem? When a sender sends a packet to the receiver, it is the responsibility of a receiver that it acknowledge that packet. It's very important thing, right? Uh, so now, if the if and the sender is going to wait for the acknowledgement, if somehow the acknowledgement doesn't reach to the sender within a timeout period, the sender will think that the packet is lost and I need to retransmit it. You see, this is the very important point here. That when you retransmit the packet, you know TCP TCP sends it on a slow rate. Okay, it is not going to send it on a full rate. So it is going to slow down the flow of packet. And why? Because he is just afraid from congestion, right? So TCP is having a lot of problem while dealing with this topic congestion. So it is going to slow down the flow of packet. It's a very important thing. Why? Because you see this green line. These, these are the ongoing packets which are moving like in a normal way to the receiver. And these violet line, this purple line is basically the retransmit data. So if these data are, in, are, on, are on full rate and you are sending this retransmitted packet on, uh, also on a full rate, then there is a, there is a problem here. These congestion, you know, these traffics, traffic is going to be generated. So I need to I need to slow it down so that one or two packets I send in a normal way and then retransmit data along with that normal packet I can send. So that's why you know this has been done. Another thing is uh, this retransmission is uh, really uh, you know it's it's a hack of a thing here. Uh, so whenever there is a packet loss or delay, uh, this uh, this retransmission retransmission is going to be uh, come right. And uh, you see that this this TCP is having a design problem. What is the problem? It assumes that whenever there is a packet loss or a delay in a packet, it just assumes that it is because of congestion. It never thought about there might be a chance that there is a software defect or a hardware defect or maybe another problem. It never assumes about that or it never talked about that. It always says that the thing is because of congestion. A single packet loss is because of congestion only. Okay. So congestion is the heck of a thing in TCP. It's a design problem in TCP. Now here is the thing about TCP meltdown. TCP meltdown says that when you put a transmission control protocol on the top of the other transmission control protocol, then uh, there is a problem. You see that I have a TCP here. These packets are of TCP and this tunnel is a TCP tunnel. Now suppose that there is a packet lost here in the, in the traffic then this, this TCP, the internal TCP is going to resolve it. He's going to retransmit it, right? By seeing it, TCP tunnel will also detect this problem, same problem, and he is also going to resolve it. Transmission, retransmission. This both thing, you know, are both are doing the same thing, retransmitting the data. You assume that you are sending the same thing double, right? You are sending it for, for double. Duplicate packets are going to be generated, and this will create an ambiguity. Uh, there is a, there is going going to be delay in the packets at the at the opposite side, and this leads to something called as a TCP meltdown. You see, yeah, are you are you getting? So uh, when you are using a TCP protocol uh, on the top of the other TCP protocol, both are actually resolving the same thing, and uh, because of this ambiguity, there is a delay in the packet, and which leads to something called as TCP meltdown. Now, if you do not understand it, let us understand in a very uh, specific manner. Uh, let us say that I have two layers. Okay, So, I have an upper layer here and uh, there is an upper layer and there is a lower layer. You see that every layer has uh, 
you know tcp uh, timers are available so there are tcp timers there are many timers available like uh, connection timer uh, retransmission timer persistent timer there are many timers so there is something called as a connection timer is also given to these layers so let's assume that upper layer is very fast okay it's upper layer is a very fast and lower layer is very slow so if upper layer is fast it's very connection is very fast then the connection timer here is also going to be very fast that's a simple thing it is understandable a connection timer so sorry connection timer is fast here and you see the same thing it's a reverse of it so connection timer here is going to be very slow and uh, this is going to be a problem if this is very slow then uh, you see that because of this slowness uh, there is it it will it will leads to something called as unreliable base connection i'll i'll tell you why is it unreliable you see that lower layer sits the on the uh, in, in the upper layer so it is something like this this is this is like this is a lower layer ll and this is upper layer right this is the thing now you see this the data has been from here lower layer uh, the data from the lower layer is being sent to the upper layer then the transmission happens right so the packet is moving like this so lower layer to upper layer now as you understand that the connection is slow at the lower layer so what will happen basically so connection is very slow so the packet is not reaching at the time so it is taking too much of time so taking too time taking too much of time here taking too much time to reach to the upper layer so it is taking time here all right it's something called as a delay i can say there is a delay and you see that the upper layer here upper layer and this is a lower layer so the upper layer in this case it will assume it will simply assume that uh, so you see that there is a connection timer so upper layer will wait for some time uh, till this packet reach to the upper layer but you see he is waiting but the packet is not reaching at the time okay so he will just assume he will just assume as as i told you that it will assume that there is a packet loss it will simply assume because he is waiting for some time and the packet is not coming on that time then he will simply assume that there is a packet loss right because time out occurs so in this case you know as the acknowledgement is not coming from the upper layer acknowledgement is not coming acknowledgement is because the packet is not reached to the upper layer definitely the acknowledgement is not going to come to the lower layer so in this case lower layer will assume that there should be a retransmission of packet okay retransmission of packet now you see he will again trying to send the packet here to the upper layer okay and it will again going to be like a, a packet loss and acknowledgement is not going to come right again going to be retransmission so the case is is something like on this interface here on the on the upper layer interface on this interface what will happen that retransmission packets are going to be assembled you know so many retransmission packets are going to be here there is a whole lot of queue you see this is known as a retransmission queue because both are not uh, you know uh, sending the things like packet is not reaching to the upper layer and upper layer is not uh, uh, acknowledging those packets and the lower layer is assuming that the packet is not reached let me retransmit it to the upper layer and why is this because is because this lower layer is slow in nature and because of this we have an unreliable base connection you see that i have this retransmission queue and because of this retransmission queue i'll give you my friend that this retransmission queue will jam up your connection it will jam up your connection your tcp connection because there in that complete connection there is only a retransmission queue only okay and now because of this jamming up of tcp connection if your upper layer you see that if your upper layer here wants to send something to the lower layer it will not it, it cannot send because the connection the complete connection is jammed up here so now your upper layer is also is cannot send the same thing to the lower layer and because of that reason the another retransmission queue is going to be generated on the same interface you see that all these packets are retransmission packets only 
this is from lower layer and these are from upper layer both are having the same thing here and as i told you my friend that uh, there is this retransmission will lead you something called as uh, you know tcp meltdown and this is nothing but tcp meltdown and i hope that you understand it uh, somehow uh, if you have uh, you know any doubt you can ask me in the comment section uh, so this is all about tcp meltdown i hope you like it right if you are new to my channel then i insist you to subscribe it uh, please hit that like button and share this video and thank you so much guys thank you so much for listening to me thank you